Are you in the market for a humanoid robot, but not sure which one to go with? I mean, literally, there's so many different kinds out there, and they vary in price from a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars. And this one here is powered by a Raspberry Pi 2B, a variety of sensors, servos, a full HD camera, and the capability to recognize colors, objects, as well as do motions. Now, you're probably wondering, how much does this thing cost? Believe it or not, it is priced under $600, which makes it almost a bang of a buck compared to some of the other robots reviewed. Now, I'm really skeptical about this just because I've never seen something this cheap that can do so much, but together we'll be seeing exactly what it can do and can it actually perform as well as it sounds. Now, this was sent over by High Wonder, a company that makes a variety of different robots, so if you guys wanted your own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. And in this episode here, we'll be unboxing Tony Pie, as well as trying them out and seeing exactly what it can do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Ladies and gents, so this here is what you get for just under $600, two boxes. <laughs> now, I believe this is the advanced model, so you do get some extra goodies, which includes uh, color palettes and uh, cubes and like balls, these different things that the robot can interact with, as it is a Python-based robot, meaning you can go ahead and program it. Now, before we look at the accessory package, we're gonna go and take a look at the actual box. So this here houses our Tony Pie. So we get our Tony Pie robot. So it's made out of like a variety of different materials. For instance, we have this nice aluminum or metal, I believe it's metal finish. Uh, you do have a two degree camera. So this allows it to go ahead and look around, recognize things, can even recognize if you're wearing a mask or not. Uh, it's actually a pretty smart camera. So it's got an AI built-in system that is powered by a Raspberry Pi 4B, which is one of the most advanced Raspberry Pis at the moment. Now, this also has a voltage indicator on the back right over here, and then you showcase all the different servos. So these here are LX824HV bus servos, so they can take a good amount of torque. Now, you also have two additional servos for the head, so it can go ahead and move up and down and left and right. And then it features a micro SD card port, allowing you to go ahead and program it individually. Now, it does come with a USB for programs, which is right over here, as well as a USB for the micro SD card. Uh, looks like we have a variety of different wires, as well as screws in here, just as backups. Uh, you do get some colored balls to go ahead and kick uh, what the robot can do. Uh, and then as well as some recognized plates that you can program to. Now, this here is our charger. Now, it's also got a big battery too, which I believe is great for in terms of being able to go ahead and use it for longer use. So that is that in a nutshell. So we're gonna go ahead and set our Tony Pie over here to the side, and then we'll set the accessories that it came at default to the side, and take a look at the separate accessory package that they sent us. Uh, we have a controller based off of the PlayStation 2 controller. Uh, I believe this here is our line tracing uh, paper. These accessories as well. I believe that's gonna be our cubes. Not sure what this is, but this is gonna be designed uh, for our robot to go ahead and do line tracing, as well as the capability to go ahead and climb up a step too. Then we also have some extra balls to go ahead and perform different actions. So this is all fun and exciting stuff. Now the robot has an app as well, allowing you to go ahead and connect to it, where you can go and control and do different animations as well as actions, which we'll be doing too. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into the robot itself and try it out. All right, so for starters, we're gonna try out the Wonder Pi app to go ahead and see what this robot can do out of the box. So this here is our app shows you the different variations of the robots that they make. So we have the Tony Pie, there's a Spider Pie, and then there's an Arm Pie, all powered by <clears throat> Raspberry Pi. So let's click on Tony Pie here. 
Uh, now it's currently searching for a Tony Pie. There it is. Hit connect. And we're ready to control this thing. The robot is seeing everything that we see on the screen. And let's actually a pretty good quality camera. Um, now I can control the robot too. For instance, I have the directional panel so I can move the robot forward. I can have the robot go back. So very standard stuff among humanoid robots. Uh, it does a side step too. To the right, to the left. Uh, you can rotate it too. So this is rotating to the right. And you get rotated to the left. So you get your full directional panels. Now you also have different uh, modes too. So you have get up. For instance, if the robot fell on its back like this, just hit get up. There we are. So it was able to get itself back up. If it fell on the front, So it has its own sensor to detect if it's fallen forward or back. Now you also have actions. So you have a wave. Uh, we have a bow. There we go. Bowing down. Uh, we have twist the waist. Pretty cool. <laughs> um, then we have a custom mode, a variety of custom modes that we can make too. So that's cool that you can do all that in terms of the, the actions of the robot. Now, under different other modes and settings, you could take a picture too on the top right here. Um, and you can snap a photo, which will save to your phone. So auto shoot, I believe is just gonna go ahead and kick the ball. So let's just go ahead and try that out really quick. Uh, so, oh, it detected it right there. Let me just go ahead and adjust the uh, focal length there. There we go. So I'm gonna hit blue and hit shoot. So it's gonna shoot the blue ball. <gasps> so it's lining itself to kick the ball. Good job, <laughs> sweet. <laughs> All right, so it can recognize different colors too. So that's kind of nice. So right now it's just looking for a blue ball. So I'm gonna, hit, I'm gonna pause that for a second. I'm gonna put these three balls here just to kind of give you a visual asset. Um, so from here, the robot will see the different colors. So I'm gonna want it to shoot, let's just say the green ball and hit shoot. All right, so it sees the green, makes this way and pass. Oh, <laughs> nice, uh, red ball, whoa. That's actually pretty good. I mean, it's quite spot on to be able to kick like that. So it's gonna kick the red one. Ha <laughs> sweet. So that is actually really cool. So uh, it has the recognition capability to kick different balls. Uh, so we have color recognition. So this can go ahead and recognize different colors uh, based on what you're showing it. All right, so let's see what color it recognizes. So this is red. All right, it says red, uh, blue. Nice. Uh, let's see, green. <laughs> I'm actually quite shocked that I was able to do that. That's actually really cool. All right, so another thing we have is color tracking. So if I click on color tracking here, this will allow us to go ahead and actually have the robot track certain colors. Now for this, we'll be using the different color balls to see how it kind of functions but let's just see what it does. So right now it's not detecting anything, but if I hit track uh, and I decide to make it track, let's just say the green ball. I'll show the red ball first, nothing. Blue ball, nothing. Green ball, <laughs> look at that. Now, like if I bounce it, <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Oh, it's detecting our, <laughs> it's detecting our uh, green screen over there. Uh, let's just go back to red. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. There you go, buddy. There you go. Look, follow the red ball. Follow the red ball. Watch the ball go up and down, left and right. Let's do a full 360 motion. <laughs> and then let's bounce it. Bounce, bounce. Ah. Bounce, 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 bounce. Let's try blue. Blue. There we go. Okay. This is so cool. 
If I hide it behind the other one, uh oh. Boop! <laughs> hide it behind here. Boop! <laughs> I can do this all day. <laughs> so, yeah, kind of gives you an idea what that's about. Now, if I hit disable tracking, um, we also have a line follow. Sorry, we have a facial recognition. So, uh, let's try this out here. So, right now, it's detecting my face. And it'll wave to me. So whenever it detects a face, it'll wave. So right now it's like scanning the perimeter. Let's see if it sees me over here. Hi! <laughs> it actually worked quite well. So that is a facial recognition. Now we also have object carrying where the robot can go ahead and pick up an object and transport it. Now for that, we need some cubes. So we have a red cube over here, so I can hit uh, transport and see what happens. Okay, so it sees it. <laughs> now I was trying to figure out where to put it. Um, that's where we have to do it on the other panel there to see how this works. But that's actually really cool. So a little bit more in terms of settings goes. So this here kind of gives you a little bit more feedback in terms of what's happening. So if I put the color red in front of it and I hit red, this will show exactly what, what the robot is seeing. See on the left? So it'll be able to detect the color red. Now if I swap this over to green and I put this cube again in its face, it won't recognize that. However, if I do blue, and I put the blue one in front of its face, you can see that it's now picking it up. So that's actually kind of cool in how that works. You have the full configuration of different settings. Uh, you can adjust the brightness, you can adjust the different color variations to make it work in terms of the color balance. So it does give you good extra options to change the threshold settings if necessary. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is look at tag recognition. So these here are different tags. Uh, if I click this here, it says it can recognize a tag up to 50 centimeters or about 1.64 inches. So you click on this. So that's one command. See so it recognizes this. I'll do a different animation. See if it recognizes this. A little march in place. So that's kind of cool that they have these pre-programmed ones. So if I put this one again, so I'll just do that. Uh, if I put this one in front of it, do a little dance. <laughs> If I do this, <laughs> that's cool. So it kind of gives you an idea of what that's about. Again, a lot of different possibilities with this. And yeah, that is that in a nutshell. So let's go ahead and take it up a notch. We're gonna swap out the micro SD card with a pre-programmed customized version that High Wonder supplied to us. So we can go ahead and pick up the blocks and transport them in corresponding locations. And on top of that, Follow a nice line course which includes a step, which I'm really excited to go and showcase. So let's go ahead and do that next and see what that's about. Look at that. <laughs> it's like a work of art. Now for this part here is a little tricky. So you're gonna use these tweezers here and we're gonna go ahead and pull out the original SD card. Now it's in a very tight spot, so just be careful. And then we're swapping it out with another 16 gigabyte micro SD card. Since we're using a controller based system, uh, we're gonna be adding on a extra USB. So this will allow us to connect to the controller via USB. And now if everything works, it should control itself. All right, now that we're connected, we can control our robot. So if I hit the right arrow, the robot will move to the right. Left arrow, the robot will move to the left. If I hit forward, the robot will walk forward. Same with back. Now the the key buttons are here on the right are programmed to go ahead and perform different actions, uh, including uh, following a line, uh, picking up an object, uh, tracking in terms of if someone's wearing a mask, as well as kicking a ball. Now if I try some of the top buttons here, you can see that the robot will rotate to the right like this. Uh, if you hold L2, it'll rotate to the left. Uh, R1 will do a little kick to the side. L1 will do a little kick to the left side. Uh, in terms of the analog goes, we can control it as well in terms of movement goes, so that's kind of nice. All right, so let's go ahead and try out the face mask recognition. So now the robot will be able to detect if I'm not covering my face. For instance, right now it's scanning, and if it sees me, it's waving no, meaning I'm not covering my face. However, 
if I decide to cover my face like this, if I had a face mask on, there you go. <laughs> this is good enough because now I'm covering my mouth. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Now it's saying no again. All right, so let's go ahead and put it to the test and see what this thing can do. All right, we're all set ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and hit square and this will start our line tracking mode. And you can see the rule about looking down and it's gonna be going past our first obstacle. All right, we're gonna work our way around this turn over here. So it is tracking quite well, which is nice. There we go. <laughs> All right, so for our next challenge here, we're gonna have our Tony Pie pick up the corresponding blocks and put them in the correct spots. So what this uses is it uses color recognition to pick up the block and then it'll correspond to the specific design uh, and then it should drop it off there. So let's go ahead and try this thing out and see what it does. All right, so I picked up the green cube. <laughs> Look at it go. It's actually doing it. So it's lining it up and just placed it on the green box. Look at that! <laughs> That's awesome! Nice! Did all three color cues. How cool is that? All right, well there you guys have it. Overall, a cool looking robot. I have to say it does perform quite well. We did see a little bit of the flaws within the line tracking and it did have some connection issues in terms of moving the blocks to the actual color pattern. However, overall on paper, it did perform quite well and it does show you that it does have a lot of potential. Not only that, the settings allow you to go ahead and adjust based on your lighting. You can go ahead and use it in just a variety of different matters. Now, another thing I noticed is that you have to go ahead and constantly adjust the camera focal length by simply moving this part here. But other than that, it actually is quite cool. Um, in terms of the appearance goes, it does have a bit of a scary vibe. However, compared to some of the other humanoid robots we've seen, it's still pretty cool. Not only that, it's made out of a nice high quality grade material and the battery seems to last quite some well. Now, other than that, I would have to say I would recommend this if you're trying to get into robotics or trying to find a budget humanoid robot at around six to seven hundred dollars. Now, with that said, if you guys had any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye bye.